Hello and Namaste. Today I shall be discussing on adenoids. Adenoids are defined as symptomatic hypertrophic nasopharyngeal tonsils. They are also called as Loscaz tonsil. This might be asked in the exam. Simple adenoid means normal adenoid tissue which is present in the nasopharynx of children. In adults, you can simply see vestiges of the adenoids or very small adenoids that do not interfere with the normal breathing function. Symptomatic adenoid, that is adenoids, lead to nasal obstruction that in turn leads to mouth breathing and complications associated with the mouth breathing and station tube block that leads to otitis media with effusion. Occasionally, features like adenoids are also seen in dental malocclusion and bilateral nasal block due to nasal polyps or conatoasia. In children, we need to think about the congenital malformations or congenital anomalies also. Therefore, adenoid phasis is not only due to adenoids, it is due to other conditions which might lead to persistent nasal obstruction. Now, let's discuss about adenoid phasis. Hypertrophied adenoids will lead to certain features in the face that is called as adenoid phasis. The facial appearance in children with adenoids will be flat, expressionless face which is due to absent nasolabial folds and hypodevelopment of the malar bones. The child would have open mouth, dry lips and salaria due to mouth breathing. The child might also have hair dip, hissed up upper lip, large and projecting upper incisors, crowded upper teeth, dry gums, dinder caries, high hairs palate, etc. All of them are features of mouth breathing that in turn leads to certain features which are described here. The face will be elongated which is due to underdevelopment of the mid face because the mid face is structure they cannot get enough oxygen for normal development that leads to elongated face. This is a typical picture of a child having adenoids. You can see here the upper teeth are thick and large, white. There is certain hair dip like the mouth is open and the face is slightly elongated face. Let's come out to the clinical features of adenoid faces or adenoids. We have already discussed due to features of nasal obstruction, they are bilateral nose block and nasal discharge, randolia of clausa, that is flat toneless voice. It is equivalent to speaking with the nose closed like this. Okay, so this happens in randolia clausa. The next is difficulty in feeding. The child with adenoids will have nasal obstruction and they cannot breathe from the nose. They won't breathe from the nose and they will breathe from the mouth and the mouth also will be blocked. There will be snoring or sleep apnea like syndrome, pulmonary hypertension when there is sleep apnea syndrome and pinched nostrils due to disuse atrophy of the tonsils because patients will use the mouth for breathing purpose. Now features of mouth breathing, they are open mouth, dribbling of saliva, high arch palate, crowding of the teeth, and protruding central incisors, big central incisors, they are features of mouth breathing, yeast upper lip, like hair lip, prognathism, chronic pharyngitis by breathing impure or the mouth breathing that leads to chronic pharyngitis. Features of stationary block, they are earache. Occasionally, the child with adenoids might have earache, earache pain, then conductive deafness due to OME, dull and expressionless face and inattentive child, the child is not much attentive in the class. Other, other features like pectus excavatum and nocturnal induces also might happen in children with adenoids. How to investigate for adenoids? We do simple things. One is rigid or flexible nasopharyngoscopy and that will show the adenoids. Here we can see adenoids. The inferior turbinate, it was strained and adenoid and the septum, the floor of the right nasal cavity. So this is the adenoid tissue which is present. This is obstruction that is airway in the coena. More than 50% of the airway has been closed here. Plain x of so in the pharynx, lateral view will show the, the enlarged adenoids. You can see here the adenoids are enlarged and they are causing obstruction to the nasal airway. How to treat the adenoids? When there are mild symptoms, we can simply wait and watch, supposing that the adenoid will regress by the age of 10 years. So by 10 years, the adenoid has to regress in size. Antihistamines and decongestant have been used. Decongestant is mucosa and the of the nose, so they might help to some extent. Steroid nasal sprays, as this condition is an inflammatory condition or due to immune complex problem, 
so steroids might have role in treatment of the mild symptoms but when the symptoms are severe or they are present with OS, OSS that is obstructive renal syndrome then the child has to undergo adenoid surgery or adenoidectomy thank you so much